Hello everyone, today we are going to make a tree shelf that looks like a tree. I saw this image at some point on the internet and I kind of fall in love with it. So I was like, I should make it. And uh, now I planned a bit obviously this, how am I gonna make it? Uh, so in the image, as you see, is it's, it's actually directly uh, glued pieces together. I don't know how it is holding to the wall. Now, I I, I couldn't find, I, I had some ideas, but I couldn't find the correct approach for this. So I kind of choose the easy way to have a background wood MDF to support the whole thing. And I think it will work. So let's start this project. I already bought some plywoods for this and let's do it.
Okay, apologies for the sound. Um, this area is very loud. Anyway, what I'm gonna be doing, you see these here, over here, these. So what I'm gonna be doing, I, I don't like this basically. I want it to be flat surface. So I'm gonna remove these first, make those hole bigger and then screw it back again. So that will be flush basically. So let's get going. I just want to start to the branches starts first here and here then at least I want to cut the pieces and make it ready um, before I glue it and then screw it because there's um, drill bits are missing at the moment and I ordered until they come I can actually wait so that's what I'm gonna do and this thing is dried however there is a problem so the, basically the, the surface of this is straight up until around here after this bit it actually gets banded over a tiny bit so it, it's creating this bandy surface rather say so I'm thinking to fix the tissue because there's a gap there is a gap literally over here basically when I put it so when this is straight like this, there's a gap in here like that because this is not aligned perfectly. So what I'm thinking is to chop this from here, get the screws undone, shave this bit a bit to make this bit a bit further down like that and then glue it again. And in the meantime, I can also do the rest of the branches and glue them and screw them together so they can dry. And hopefully this should be ready by tomorrow and I can put them all together. So let's start.
Okay, so I have my paint arrived over here. So I want to paint the back of the, the MDF basically um, to see how it is gonna look like. Also, it's gonna obviously take time to dry. So I will do that first now and, and then continue with the branches. So let's get going. Um, so I realized, as you can see over here, this bit is straight, obviously. But I think because this bit isn't straight perfectly in this, in that sense, it is not sitting perfectly well. As you can see, there is a gap like this, uh, and I want this to sit on the behind of it, like in that side, because that's gonna be MDF, perfectly zero. So what I'm gonna be doing is shaving this to the like make this flash into the you know into this wood really hopefully it will work and uh, let's start
done with this. Gluing is done. The only part I'm gonna be fixing is this part. That's because I break it. Um, I don't know how I'm not gonna glue that, but I need to glue that. After that, next step is covering the, the screws. Where are they? I'm gonna probably shave a bit and then put some wood filler and make them disappear. So let's start. Okay, I got my wood filler over here. I shaved a bit, some of them, tiny bit, not too much, uh, some of the screws. So I, that will be still bumpy, but I don't think it will, it will matter a bit that much. Some of them is not even visible anyway, it's under of it. So this is more like cleaning a bit. So let's start applying this. Okay, in here, what I try to do is make holes and then put these wood pieces into these holes. And essentially the, the whole point was, so if I can drill obviously equally and then put these inside of those, those holes and put the wood panel background on top of this, I can mark the holes. Let's just say it wasn't a good idea to do and uh, it didn't work. So while I did drill and then put things on, I just changed my mind because it it wasn't perfectly equal so uh, instead I decided to I decided to put the whole wood on top of the, the, the background and then draw it and then drill those bits and then kind of match by just placing them and that kind of worked basically and the reason why I'm doing this is because so I wanted to make the holes location um, defined and then when we carry it, it will be easier to carry and then the, the path will be ready to, to put the screw in basically. Well, I'm back at home. Uh, I bring the tree with me, obviously. Now, when I planned this, uh, I had a few things in mind, uh, but I actually didn't think the plywood wouldn't be this 
look very very uh, fragile in in a way when you sand it you can see all the damage it's been done really it's not like normal wood which i didn't think about this before i buy it because of this reason i had a few of different ideas so you, firstly what i'm talking about is these cars as you see there are uh, these are the holes that you know the screw from one to another these are that so i covered them with wood filler and then sand it. Uh, some other damages made by with glue, some other marks, like uh, this is dirty, you can see here is worse, you know, it's, it's, it's all over the place basically. So, because of this reason, what I want to do is, first test is I purchased some um, Because of because of this reason, I purchased some. Um, because of this reason, I purchased some. I'm I'm not hundred percent sure what this is called. Actually, I forgot. These things basically. These are uh, applied with normally with iron, which we have a problem with that because obviously not all the branches that is suitable for iron. And because of that reason, I will be applying this with heat heat gun. If that doesn't work. I want to see it first, obviously, if that doesn't work. I have multiple um, wood dyes, which I will probably try eventually. But if this works, then I will go with this, because I think this looks obviously pretty, you know, decent, like look like a wood. There's a lot of surface to cover, and uh, these surfaces uh, mostly uh, gonna be visible to everybody. So once I finish using these, um, also the the tip part of it, where the, um, the part, um, once this is finished, I will try these, these areas, with a different colored one, because why not, uh, maybe it would look good, uh, I want to test it at least, and you can see the behind me is the, the background of it, that needs to be repainted as well, uh, but I'm leaving that for now because it's not urgent. So first thing is this, so let's get going. I made a mistake of not pressing the record button, unfortunately, <laughs> but it worked. Um, it's pretty decent, I think, and it's just heat gun, really. I just worked the heat gun. I will be showing the next ones, hopefully. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I couldn't record this. Uh, basically, I did something like this in a way, um, just to cover it up. I heat here and then press it like in a way, like ironing like this. And then sometimes I also apply this because it's you know some of these can't be reached. But it's I think pretty good. Looks good as well.
Okay, the bit mostly is done. Um, as you can see, I'm just gonna start uh, cutting the excessive bits and then apply some ironing to the surfaces like this. And then let's see what it is going to be happening. Um, it's basically done. Okay, the cleaning bits are done. Now it is time to do the, this side. So I have about these. Um, hopefully this will cover everything. If, I mean, I have two of them. So if, if it's not enough, I will always, I can always uh, buy a new one anyway. But yeah, so these surfaces next. few reasons I can't put this library to the wall at the moment at least so I will wait uh, but it is literally just making a hole in the wall and then um, you know screwing to the walls to make it stable and then glue the top and side bits at the moment that's the only bit I didn't do I other than that I made everything and it looks good so here is the final result watching this video if you do please subscribe and like and i hope to see you next time